some of the standard reports that you have, you know, like an insurance company would typically have. The providers would sort of haven't seen that, you know, see that data within, you know, within 10 days, sometimes it's five, five days. To see that, it, we, never, we never could do that before. In this new ACA world, you know, the, the, the payers are being forced to really watch their administrative expenses, but the providers are too. You know, if I, you know, if I ask for, you know, X number of new people, that's not gonna happen. But now with this, with this tool, we can deliver, you know, information efficiently. And that, 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 that's, that's a huge kind of a success. The Nolan Med Insight tool does, does help us to achieve that. That is much more key now that we're kind of on an automated process with, with Med Insight. You know, we try to deliver the data to you guys uh, within, uh, by, you know, whatever, the 25th or 26th of the month, so that within, within 10 days or less of your refresh that we can, we can have a, a portal with that de data ready to be seen so that the clinicians and, and the financial folks can, all, can understand you know, uh, how, how, is it, how is it performing. They can monitor it on a regular basis because uh, you know, now you know, we, we have changed our cultures that they, they do want to understand what the emerging performance is. And if you don't have data delivered on a you know, consistent uh, regular time frame, then, then, then you're not, you're not going to be able to monitor it on a, on a, on a consistent or regular basis. So. We, we do get data from various sources, and 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 prior to prior to having that this tool, you know we, we, were, we were using the payer reports to try to compare whatever metrics you know ER utilization per uh, per hundred admits admits whatever admits per thousand. But when when you use their own reports, everybody groups things slightly differently, so it is hard to compare. You know these 80 admits over here versus these 70, are they you know are they are they comparable or not? So I think one of the advantages that that uh, the, that uh, we have now is being able to group data on a consistent basis, so that it is comparable, and you know that this this set of ad admissions don't have does not have well new whatever new wellborns in there, and this one doesn't either. So now now we can actually kind of compare performance across populations. That that's that's a capability that, that, we, that we didn't really have. MedInsight has really helped us to, to bring the, the value of actuaries to, to a provider. I think you know, insurance companies really understand that, but I think providers think that it'd be it'd be nice to act nice to have an actuary. But with with this tool, we, you know, we've been able to really raise the awareness of, of what we can do within a, within the provider organization to, to help you know help the clinicians try to improve continue to improve quality and and, and lower costs so that that. Uh, you know, healthcare can be delivered uh, more efficiently.